Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe, and honestly, I was not intending on making this video at all, but I just went to upload my YouTube video for today, and saw that Team Fortress had just released this update. I saw the video for it, they actually released a short promotional video, uh, not only showcasing new taunts, but I'll leave a link to it in the description, but um, it's just essentially promoting Team Fortress 2 competitive play, and there is a new taunt shown as well, not a lot of people actually noticed it, but I did straight away. Uh, there is various... Uh, people dancing in the background which I'm assuming is going to be a new taunt so this is the first time I've actually seen this uh, sort of page so don't think I sort of know anything uh, going into this I'm literally this is the first time I've seen it as well so without further ado let's scroll down so the first thing in this update is matchmaking ever since the first apes climbed out the trees uh, there were apes who did it faster some apes just fell out of a tree it's a sad fact that all apes are not created equal Presenting our newest tree climbing down simulator matchmaking. Play alone or with your friends or against players of similar skill level. Climb out that tree at your own speed, confident that the apes around you aren't beating you to the bananas, which technically grow in trees. Uh, that's kind of irrelevant actually, but uh, yeah, it makes sense. Look, this banana. So I'm assuming that's a video I just watched. I'm probably not going to play it due to a copyright issue or anything like that. But this is just essentially saying there are some people out there that are good at stuff and some people out there that are bad. So competitive mode, rise through the ranks. Ever since the first dolphin, again, this is another animal analogy. It's saying essentially, ever since the first dolphins crawled out of the ocean, they've longed to pick a fight with the fat banana eating apes over by the trees. And now they can in a structured dolphin safe environment. So that is essentially right there, competitive mode. And I'm assuming the dolphins and the monkeys are referencing different classes in Team Fortress 2. Introducing competitive mode, a ranked 6v6 game mode featuring all 9 TF classes. Climb the comp mode ranks to earn up to 18 titles and badges. Track all your match and the ongoing stats in game. You can even earn stat medals by scoring in the top percentile of your of all players in your rank. Read competitive mode FAQ for more information. So um, yeah, that's just essentially, we already knew that from the beta, but they're going to be officially releasing competitive mode outside of the beta. Casual mode, quick play gets an upgrade. So they're, they're actually going to be changing the quick play mode, which I know is going to appeal to a lot of Team Fortress players out there, because not everyone is looking for competitive. So matchmaking is also changing to where TF2 can be played casually. Now, instead of jumping randomly into an on-progress game, you'll be matched into an unranked 12v12 game with players of a similar skill level. This means no more auto-balancing. You will be playing a match from start to finish with actual winners and actual losers. We've also introduced a levelling stat. The more you play, the more you level up. And you can accelerate your levelling by earning points in-game. Have friends? Play on the same team every time by simply inviting them to your party. So it looks like they're kind of making the casual mode a bit more competitive. So there's a bit more meaning to it. So as opposed to just hopping in a casual match and just playing around for fun, there's actually going to be real winners and real losers. So the games actually do matter. Now, honestly, I know this hasn't happened yet, but this is just my opinion. I feel like this might actually populate pubs again. I feel like now uh, people are actually going to care more about pubs since there's a whole new ranking uh, aspect to it and a more uh, generally competitive theme to it. I feel like this is going to essentially populate pubs again and make casual servers a lot more full and uh, generally played more often. Um, so that's quite intriguing, honestly. There's more maps coming out. This one is a control point map known as Sunshine. It does look quite cool. It kind of reminds me of the Groot Keep at a first glance, which is a really cool map. Uh, Metalworks, another control point map. Again, it kind of looks more industrial actually. It's sort of set in a darker, more industrial period. I'm very intrigued to actually play that map in game. It does actually look really cool. It's also a nice change from all of those sort of outside control point maps. So this is the Swiftwater, a payload map created by Aaron Schwa. Uh, apologies for if I pronounce that wrong. McCoolan and Lemon. So, um... That does look like quite a cool map, obviously it's a payload map, and I do really enjoy payload. Oh, out of beta pastime. The talented folks of Bad Robot on Escalation Studios have been tweaking their game mode based on a lot of great player feedback, and we're happy to announce pastime is out of beta. So that's really awesome to see pastime is going to be an official game mode once again, and not in beta. Um, a bunch of me and other YouTubers actually played this game mode on a stream, and uh, the videos are actually on various YouTube channels, but it's actually a really cool game mode. 
uh, you just have to get the ball into the enemy team's goals and there's three goals all scattered around their side of the map and the first one to get it in all three points of wins I'm fairly certain how that works and uh, there's two new achievements added with that as well jackpot and a uh, number 10 with the icon which I'm assuming means you just have to get the ball in 10 times or something similar to that and turn Marasmus multi-dimensional television no clue what that could mean in relation to pastime and then a picture here from the video that I was speaking about as you can see these are actually new taunts that the sniper pyro medic and scout are doing and the heavy is of course doing that flexing taunt as we've seen before so I'm actually really excited for this update I can't wait for competitive to come out of beta and honestly this thing at the bottom about pastime becoming out of beta took me by complete surprise I was not expecting that at all I know it's been rumored by a lot of people but I wasn't actually expecting it to come out of beta this early but I'm definitely really excited to see this and all of these community created maps actually being added into the game that's really awesome so uh, really cool update honestly it's only day one day two coming soon of course uh, we'll be making a video for that as well, so make sure you stay tuned for that. So that is just about it guys, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, let me know what you think of this update coming out, honestly, I'm really excited for it, I think it's actually going to be a really good update and the revival of Team Fortress 2, although I said previously I don't think Team Fortress 2 is dead, I think this is going to bring a lot of new players and maybe old players that stopped playing back into the game, so that is really awesome to see guys, so thank you all for watching once again, uh, make sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep updated with uh, the updates, I'm going to be making a video for each day of the update, so that's just about it guys, thank you for watching and peace.